Hey everybody, this is Dion and welcome to my channel. So I would like to uh, announce that as we did actually in the beginning of this channel, for those of you that are since here since the beginning, I'm gonna make, still be making uh, video game content in English. I will be posting also in Portuguese and Dutch. That guy doesn't look that good. Oh, Lord, is there any soup here? Let me get that weed. I... Jesus, at least clean the freaking toilet. Oh, shit, get back. Are you falling for me? Singing in the rain. Clean the toilet seat, for goodness sake. It looks like poo. It's just nasty, oh, y'all. This? It's a trap, you're farting here. <laughs> Dit loopt dood. Kijk een beetje wie. Oh, godverdamme. Kies man. Waar is de andere? Waar is de. Nee, 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 nee. nee. Ga weg. Ik ga in de kruiden. Je hebt hier gewoon gekakt. Je mag hier niet in, jongelui. Kind, wat de f in de rotsen. Ik woon snel. Wacht. Ik ga in de I actually try to make different channels for everything. By different channels, I mean all the social media that go along with it. God damn, I had this big mountain of things to do and, and never met the timestamps that I established for myself so things didn't get done in time. So for that reason, and to easy up things a bit for me, uh, since I'm doing everything by myself, the work that is done, everything is done by me since the beginning of this channel. On that note, yeah, I would like to announce that I will be doing um, video game content in English, Portuguese and Dutch since there are quite a number of people from Japan also watching, I might consider. That's the only way that you can play them is, is games that are locked out to the region of Japan. Also, uh, in the beginning of the year I changed my logo, so it is now my full name, which will allude to me doing different types of content instead of being only focused on video games. And that's a big favor that I'm doing to myself because I'm a multifaceted person, I am a multi-language person. Not to get too deluded uh, in, in terms of branding and, and all of that, um, there are folks that got kind of got confused like, you know when I want to reach you and see you, whatever it is that you do, there's a lot of Dion, so which one is you? Y you know, believe it or not, more than a couple of people actually said that to me, so it would be easier to have them all in one place. Man, I've been battling in my mind almost up until exhaustion. Like, I, I like the strategy where you focus on one thing only. I like the pros that come with that, but then I don't like the cons that come with that. And the same thing goes for a mixed channel. Believe it or not, I actually had the idea to do both. To have uh, a mixed content channel and then every topic or every project would have would have been released with an independent channel so when i started doing that i, I did it didn't feel good so let's resume that again i'm gonna make still be making uh video game content in english i will be posting also in portuguese in dutch and other languages meaning japanese is probably the number one on the list after these three and having that said I will be slowly introducing other things that I've been doing. I uh, have done a, uh, a reaction and a commentary video about the track called Popular, which was released, the video clip was released on Fortnite, almost like a year after it was released as being originally a soundtrack from the TV series The Idol. And I'm recording a lot of stuff, you know, uh, behind the scenes, but I, I will only talk about stuff that is already ready to go out to not make false promises. What else? Yeah, I, I would like to like announce new video series as I feel that it is up to a level where I can actually be consistent in posting those things. So uh, for now, there was an event in Portugal at the castle of Obidus, which is a very strongly tourist attraction. They try to duplicate how folks lived in medieval times. And uh, yeah, I, I can actually explain better than this, but I want to keep it short. 
<laughs> Believe it or not, I wanted to make a video for you. I, I, not really a vlog style because I'm more used to being behind the camera and film an object instead of me being the object that is filmed. So, uh, yeah, you can guess doing YouTube and, and, and giving my name, my face, my voice. To me, it is leaving my comfort zone. If, I don't know, for some folks that's easy. For me, it is the man behind the, the curtains. That is my, uh, in a way, a favorite spot to be, but I don't mind being up in front. Because I think if you're, if you're defending your work, you know, you better speak up about it. But then there's another part of me that goes like, well, but the work can speak for itself. If it's good, I don't need to speak about it, but that's not the world we actually live in. So you need to be able to communicate that as well. So here I am, whatever, however you wanna. <laughs> Yo, just, just wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a makeup artist, God damn it. I gotta do everything myself. Thank you. Actually, I'm using a computer right now so that I can see what the hell I'm saying to you because my camera doesn't flip the screen. <laughs> so I, I wanna release a game that I've been playing, like I tried to finish it, I wasn't able to, but the game is Mario plus Raving Rabbits uh, Sparks of Hope, which was the last collaboration between a Nintendo and Ubisoft. There are two games of that on the Nintendo Switch and it was within um, the Nintendo Online, the trial series. So I tried to play it because of that. I got like 30 something videos, if I'm not mistaken, just from that game alone. So I got the first one already to launch. I was only able to record in English because of that reason. I'm not excluding the fact that I may buy the game one day, but as for now, you know, that's it. I will be putting up a video about visiting this castle in Obidush, like a medieval, I don't know if I'm translating that right, but the event that I was just talking about. So I've been there previous years. Uh, I think I've been there a total of three times, but unfortunately this year, like I only had 2% battery on my phone and uh, I was not planning on going at that time. Like it was late, it was near the closing time and I just had to go because a, a, a very good friend of mine has was working there with his girlfriend, so I went. And they were dressed up in full attire, like in medieval times. Having that said, since I haven't been able to film anything of this year's event, I will be putting like the, the very first time that I went, which was back in 2016, like time freaking flies. And it's just a little, a little you know, a little video. I'm not even the center of the video. Um, as I was just explaining, usually, or it is the people that are with me, or the event itself, and just things that I thought were funny to, you know, that I enjoy making small videos about those things. And it was not actually done to show to a public, but more for me, if that makes sense to you. So I thought, you know, even though it was some time ago, I wanted to show it. So, yeah, I'm gonna publish that. I will be resuming the other stuff that's been going on in the channel. The majority of work that will be going on is more something that I will be doing, you know, backstage, the managing of the different accounts. Like I had separate channels and everything, you know, had separate um, social media associated to it. So if I wanted to unify everything, I gotta delete one channel and slowly post it back to the, the current channel. Um, you know, but I gotta do it in a, in a like in, in a pace where it feels uh, accepted and, and where it feels that I've chosen something of value to publish, not to just be like spitting out everything that I've ever done in my life because I took this decision. It was not a, an easy decision for me to make and I'll be watching with a watchful eye to, to see how how the public is about to react to that. So it, the, the channel will skew a little bit and focus more on my interests than just uh, gaming and gaming and gaming. Tenta-se pôr aqui assim, tenta -se, tem que ser mesmo pôr aqui o mais direitinho possível, que não esteja aqui a abanar para a esquerda e para a direita, está mesmo certinho. Agora faz ligeiramente um buraco no meio, sempre com água. Devagarinho, vamos puxar devagarinho e sem apertar muito. A posição dos dedos esses que é para apertar aqui de dentro para fora e de fora para dentro, as nozes dos dedos, vinca-se aqui onde vai começar. E agora vou puxar um bocadinho mais para cima para fazer o, o, 
o jeito do assador. O assador tem uma barriga. A dificuldade que, que, estes, que estes serviços de miniatura têm é que nós chegamos a um ponto que não podemos pôr os dedos dentro da peça. A peça já está a tomar a forma do daquilo que nós queremos, agora vou, como não posso pôr o dedo, tenho que arranjar uma maneira de estreitar o gargal usando o auxílio de uma, neste caso de um cabo de um pincel. Como não posso meter o dedo lá dentro para fazer mais nada e está feito o assador. Usar um bocadinho com a esponja. Vou fazer aqui só uma ranhãozinha, que dá muita graça aqui em cima também. Dá um picotadozinho, pertence ao assador e está o assador pronto. Fazer a marcação por onde vou cortar. processo para tirar. I mean, it is very stimulating, but after a while, there's a risk of stagnation. So for that not to happen, you know, I, I need some stimulation. So, and my stimulation comes from doing different, different things as well. It, it is very easy to get overworked. Uh, that has happened. And um, you need to know from a creative standpoint of view, uh, there are times when you just need to stop and take a different pace because I wanted to put like different videos like every day. <laughs> And that was a crazy rhythm. If I do like a poll and I ask you like specific questions, sometimes people get scared of that and they don't answer or they, they don't want to participate in that for some reason. But you know, folks are really I cannot see or know if you come because you there was something about my personality or me that you enjoyed or because I, I was showing something that was of your interest. And I think both of, the, both of them go together. Jesus, I almost took a PhD and tried to manage social accounts and marketing and whatnot and fuse that with, my, with the knowledge that I had before. And I mean, there are sometimes certain things out of my experience that just don't go along with what those people say. Sometimes you gotta think out of the box and think for yourself and be authentic. Being authentic means not exactly following the rules even though you need to know that those rules exist, you know, because they work. And, but the thing is, it, it doesn't come without flaws. It's, it's not 100%, it's not infallible. It's not right in an absolute state, if, if you may, 
Um, and the experience that I actually had on my channel, things that I tried, you know, just go against that. And it, I had success uh, in comparison to what I had before, obviously. You know, if you have a video that surpasses like three times, four times the amount of views and give, starts giving you followers, you know, and if these people say you should not do that because that goes against the rules of the YouTube algorithm or Facebook algorithm, I am aware that it exists. I should not work against it, but really, I'm not gonna be, you know, on my knees and, and just do as you say, like we need to negotiate. So that's what I'm doing here so that folks that follow me are made aware of that. We're just gonna see how it goes, okay? <laughs> oh, there's another thing that I wanna say. It's not easy and this is this is just a part of life basically. Like I, I wanted to um, make commentaries about movies and TV series and whatnot, but focus on the movie side of it for a bit. You know, if I do a reaction, meaning I had to play the thing for the whole time and boy, do you get smacked in the face with copyright issues and if you go to streaming platforms or things from television stations, it's just, I had to develop um, a format which was concluded when I did the um, popular music video reaction. It has that look because of this. So the, the how, what's the right word that I'm looking for? Like you, you will never have a, fr a, a, a free sailing if you may. You know, you had the idea and then it's going to be just like that. No, uh, part of your video or, or your movie or your project will be found within the process of actually making it. You got to adjust, you got changes, you got adversity and and that will help um shape what what you will do and uh, that has happened with everything i've done in this channel and that being the last the latest one really but it, it still does take quite a, a lot of time so something that takes me like 15 minutes let's say i need like a week to do that okay because there's a lot of talking there's a lot of text there's a lot of different images and the solution that I that I came through with with one of those things that were constantly, you know, sending the, the YouTubes and the, the Facebooks and were not alarms off because of copyright content was the music and the imaging of it. And I'm really thinking, well, if I don't show the video and just put a still frame on it, you know, they let me pass. But even the echo of a song or the echoes of, of a, a, a dialogue from a movie can set it off. You, you get this notification that says, hey, we detected that in this part, you know, this owns to us. And they will just ruin my opportunity to make some money for, off of my work that I'm, that I'm doing. It's a collaboration thing. It's transformative. That's the, the word that they use. Or I can not react and... You know, why am I, why did I choose to react? Because what I wanted to do was to make a closing commentary about it, which is something that is reflected with my knowledge about that area and what I was sensitive to as a viewer. First of all, I did that way before YouTube even was a thing, you know. I used to do that uh, a bit when I was a teenager and um, I did that kind of for myself because I liked that, but that was not a thing, you know. You were seen as being freaking weird and what's the deal with that and why would anybody want to see that and the same goes for video gaming right recording yourself uh, playing a game with commentary on top or just being silly with with my brother or with a friend or alone Hey, 
district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. prepare myself within the video game and, and, and train myself as a character so that I can show off how do you actually play the game. <laughs> Let's see about that southern hospitality. <laughs> Full treatment today. Oh my! Uh, 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 Could you be a dealer and get me a drink, please? Bon, Agent Starling is starting her last song. You must get to her before it's too late. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 You're surrounded. Who are you? Bond. James Bond. These are rudimentary things these days, but uh, like 18 years ago, let's just say, what, 2006 and if you go earlier than that, even it seemed, it seemed like this thing, like, who does that, right? After that, after like, uh, Twitch, which was earlier branded as Justin.tv, um, that started being a thing. And you're always going to have somebody that says, why do you waste your time looking at those things? Like, couldn't you do anything else? Like, if I were to listen to that, I would never done anything that I wanted to do. You know, you gotta choose. Are you gonna be yourself and authentic, or are you gonna just succumb to other people's wishes of who they think you should be, right? So if you think you're being weird, just just do it. Just try it out and don't suffocate yourself. Because I did that. I, I, I had a lot of things ready, but then I thought, um, my channel is not focused with that content, so I'm not gonna put it there. I'm not gonna put it in. And I had it like saved on a, in a draft state. <laughs> and when I went to look, the, the amount of things that I had already done, but none of them were published, you know, you discover through social media or YouTube, you discover that um, your flaws just scream everywhere. And you gotta face them. Like, is it, imagine this, you're like a statue and you're the, your own sculpture, like you, you, got, you need to sculpt, okay? And that's what I'm doing here. So this is just basically another step. Sharing my thoughts, my thinking process behind it, and I'm speaking my ass out. This video was just supposed to be like a minute long. Okay. <laughs> so let me know in the comments down below what you think. And uh, yeah. Whew. I'm excited. Let's go. Keep on clicking on my videos. Come on. <laughs> I don't know how to close this video, so I'm just going to say some silly stuff like that. Goodbye.